Hey, what's up guys, it's the Chosen One, you know the deal. Today we're gonna be doing a power level media tutorial video on Pokemon Home, and we're gonna be doing a full walkthrough on how to install it on your mobile device and Nintendo Switch, and we're gonna show you how to transfer all your Pokemon, and we're even gonna get into transferring your Pokemon from the 3DS. So if you have Pokemon on Sun and Moon, if you have Pokemon on Ruby Red and Sapphire, we're gonna show you guys how to transfer them to your Pokemon home and then even if you want to transfer those Pokemon into your Sword and Shield games you're able to do that. We're going to get all into that so first step I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. Search Pokemon home in your store whether it be Android or iOS. I'm on Android right now on my Samsung Galaxy so we're going to search Pokemon home and then you have to scroll down for some reason. You have to go pretty far down. I don't know why it's not the first one that comes up, but this is the icon. We're gonna click on it. You're gonna install it. And once you install it, you're gonna open it up and then you're gonna enter all your credentials, whether it be your Nintendo ID. Um, it's gonna ask for a bunch of stuff. Just, you know, go through that whole process, fill it all out. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna close your Pokemon home on your mobile device, close it. And then right now we're gonna get into the Nintendo Switch part of this tutorial. All right, once you're logged into your Nintendo Switch, you're gonna go into your Nintendo eShop and you're gonna search Pokemon Home. And I already have it installed. You're gonna click on this. This one's it comes up faster on the Nintendo Switch. You're gonna click on this, install it. And then once you install it, we're gonna get to the next step into transferring. And we're gonna first start off with just transferring from Let's Go, uh, Pikachu and Eevee, and we're gonna transfer some Pokemon into uh, Sword and Shield. So we'll do that quick and show you guys how to do that because that's the easy part. The, 3D, uh, the 3DS part is a little more complicated. So first of all, let's get into that and once you download that, you're going to log into it, enter all your credentials, and once your credentials are entered, um, you're going to keep that open. All right, here comes the fun part. So once you log into Pokemon Home on your Nintendo Switch, you're going to push any button to log into the menu. And once you first log in, it's going to ask you for all your credentials. Make sure you log them in. Um, now, this is so cool because I love this app already. And it's, I believe, uh, $16 a month. Uh, it's free to install, but uh, I think you can only have 30 Pokemon at once. Yeah, so you can only have 30 Pokemon at once, uh, and the premium plan will let you transfer up to 6,000 Pokemon, and it'll have certain features that aren't free. Um, I just paid the 12 months. It's $15.99 for the year. I just got it out of the way. You could do the one month, it's three, $3 a month. Um, I just recommend doing the year. I just did it, you know, no complaints. I think this is such an awesome feature for the people that are complaining for the price. It's really not that much to transfer and store all your Pokemon from, you know, your 3DS and just have them all in one. It's almost like a, it's a cloud beast like mobile server for all your Pokemon and you can always have them with you. I think it's worth the $16. Um, so let's get into it. So far, I only have uh, 28 Pokemon deposited in Pokemon Home. I transferred a lot of them into Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, and I've been battling online with my Pokemon from um, Ultra, Sun, and Moon, which is really cool that you can do that. So let's first of all, let's, let's go into Pokemon Home. So this is what it's going to look like, um, and you're going to select a game to connect to Pokemon Home. And what we'll do is we'll go into my Pokemon Sword. And then once you open up, you're going to get this menu. And you have on the left is your home menu, which is your mobile cloud server Pokemon home box. And then on the right, this is your, this is my uh, Sword and Shield box. These are all my boxes for Sword and Shield. So what I can do is, right now I have some Pokemon. Some of these Pokemon are from... Some of these Pokemon are from... 
Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So what we'll do is we'll just take this Eevee that I caught a while back and then we'll just put him in the box like that. And it's that simple. I got a bunch of different Pokemon and some Pokemon aren't, you're not able to transfer. You'll have this little crossbar on them. I'm not sure if this means that you know that you can't transfer it or might have like a problem and some of them have like a little exclamation point so i actually transferred my sneasel into pokemon sword and he worked fine i don't know if they have all the animations for all the characters you know all the different pokemon in it yet fully updated i'm sure we'll get more as we go so i wasn't able to put my like in rock which i was kind of disappointed in i don't know i never i never actually tried let's just try it and we'll see what happens Okay, see, so you can't move him there. And this is for my sword and shield. This is my Lycan rock. All right, so we can't transfer. So when it has this little crossbar, you can't transfer them. And then this is like a maybe. It might go through. All right, so it's that easy, pretty much. So this is my sword and shield box. I got a bunch of different Pokemon that I transferred um, from Let's Go. I got Pokemon that I, I've transferred from uh, sword and shield. Um, I got Pokemon that I got from Pokemon Home on the mobile app, and we'll get into that right after. This Mewtwo, level 79, I got him from the Pokemon Home mobile app, because you can actually do, like, mobile trades, too. So this box, once you have all these Pokemon in this box, you can actually do mobile trades on your your mobile device, and you, you can transfer, you can uh, trade these Pokemon, and you can do random trades, you can actually pick a pokemon that you want to get in exchange for your pokemon which is really cool and that's how i got this this mewtwo i actually took a linton which is one of the top trades i took a linton from pokemon sword and shield that i caught and i uploaded him into pokemon home i put him in my pokemon home uh box and then i put him into a a trade and I requested a Mewtwo so someone actually gave me a Mewtwo for a Linton which is really cool so they were probably looking to complete their Pokedex with that Linton and I was looking to get that Mewtwo so that was a really cool trade and that was a mobile trade so that's how cool this app is and this is only one part that I'm showing you guys this is just one box let's go back here so once we we did everything we wanted to do we edited our boxes we're gonna save the changes gonna update all of our boxes and then you even have a little pokedex i wanted to go through this real quick this is like a national pokedex this has like every every region pretty much unknown regions and it'll tell you how many how many pokemon you've actually registered from each region which is really cool and this is like this is the home pokedex so I'm sure you have way more Pokemon registered in your Pokedexes on whatever whatever platform you're playing. If you're on 3DS or you know your Pokemon from Sun and Sh uh, Sun and Moon or your Pokemon from Sword and Shield, you have more Pokemon than this right here registered in your Pokedex. This is your national dex for your Pokemon Home, if that makes sense. I was kind of confused at first, but this is your dex. So once you transfer all your Pokemon into this. They'll, they'll begin to register, which is really cool. You keep track of how many Pokemon you have across, like, each game. You see what I mean? Like, Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. And then you have, you know, you can just keep track of all your different Pokemon, which is really cool. All right, so now that we transferred Pokemon, it's that easy. I'm going to go to, let's go to Pokemon, let's go Pikachu. And I'll transfer a quick Pokemon. See who I could transfer. All right, we'll transfer. Let's see. We'll transfer this Mr. Mime. Cause I know everybody loves Mr. Mime. We'll move him to my home box. All right, now that he's in my home box, we'll save. And I'm just gonna show you guys the basics on how to transfer, just so you guys know, because 
it was a little confusing for me at first. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? But after a few tries, we'll get the hang of it. All right, so now that that's saved, we'll go back. And now that Mr. Mime is in my Pokemon home. And we'll go back to the mobile app and we'll sh I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about in the mobile app. You can't be logged into your mobile, uh, your mobile Pokemon home app at the same time as your app in your Pokemon home on your Switch. <laughs> that sounds complicated. So you can't be on your Switch and you can't be on your mobile phone at the same time on both, both Pokemon home apps. All right, so here's our here's our Mr. Mind that we just transferred. And then now if we want to, we can even transfer him. So now that he's in our home, we can go back, we'll save. I just wanted to go into that real quick. And even though that you, even though I can't take that Electrovire and put him into Sword and Shield, it has like an X on him, I can still keep him in my home and I can still trade with other people online, if that makes sense. And then I, I can put him into maybe future games or when he finally, when he finally gets an update for Pokemon, you know, Sword and Shield, when they finally put his animation into the game, then we'll be able to transfer him into there. But for now, I mean, he's on your phone and he's in your mobile storage, which is awesome because, you know, you got all these Pokemon. You can even just trade them with your friends. All right, so now that we put that Mr. Mime into home, we can just go into our Pokemon Sword and Shield. And then we can take him right out of the box. And he has like an exclamation point, but he does work because I transferred him into Sword and Shield and he works. So we'll just we'll just transfer him in just to show you guys. And then I have a bunch of doubles. I've just been catching so many doubles just to trade. And we'll put him in there. See, it may not be able to move to other games, but I did test it and he was able to work. All right, and then I'll put this Mime Jr. I gotta have another one right here. We'll take this Mime Jr. that I caught online. We'll move him over into my Pokemon home. And we'll get into all that after. So let's save this. So we did a bunch of stuff. Alright, so now that everything's saved, we're gonna go into our home, go to our Pokemon Sword or Shield, whatever game you have. Go to Pokemon. And this Snorlax right here, I got him from Sun and Moon. And he's on my team. Yes. All these Pokemon are for Sword and Shield. Or Sun and Moon, sorry, and I and I transfer them into Sword and Shield, uh, into Sword and Shield. Yeah, it's confusing. So many transfers. All right, so let's try to find the Pokemon that we just transferred. And sometimes you gotta scroll through your boxes to actually find them. All right, here we go. So here's the Mr. Mime that we transferred from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We'll move them to, onto our team so I could show you guys. And let's see. We'll move uh, this Mewtwo on my team too. And this is what the one that I got from the mobile trade, which is really cool. We'll move this Mr. Mime onto our first party attacker. We'll go back. There he is right there. So cool. And you can battle with him and they Dynamax too, which is really cool. They have the Dynamax attacks. Um, they don't, I, I, there's no Gigamax, but there is Dynamax, which is still awesome. And 
this Blastoise is from, uh, I believe this Blastoise I traded from, uh, from Sun and Moon also. This I got from Sun and Moon. I believe this was like a GameStop. You get one of those codes and you you enter the code and you get the Pokemon. I got him from that, Marshadow. So cool, I love his design. And I transferred him from Sun and Moon. The animation looks great. Now, one thing that I'm wondering is I haven't really checked. Actually, we'll check right now. The Pokeball transferred. As you can see, the red Pokeball. Let's see if he has any held items. I don't think he has any items. So he doesn't. They don't transfer with their items. Yeah. See how none of them have any items from whatever game that you transfer them from. They usually don't have their items. So that's another thing that I was wondering, and I just answered my own question. All right. So that's gonna wrap it up for this part. We're gonna head on to the mobile part of this, and we're gonna get back into the mobile app. Um, you can leave this open. You can play. You know. You can play your Pokemon. Sword and Shield in the background as you're on your Pokemon home. That doesn't affect anything. So let's close this for now, and then we're going to get into the mobile app again. Okay, so now we're going to explore into the mobile app a little more for Pokemon Home. So let's open up the app. And then once your app is open, you're going to get a bunch of stuff when you first log in. They'll actually give you a Pokemon. And you can take those Pokemon that they give you for rewards, and you can transfer them into your Sword and Shield games. Alright, so this is the trade section. Actually, we'll go to the room section first. Alright, you have different challenges, and you get different rewards for completing different challenges. And then you can scroll through the different challenges and complete them. Earning rewards... And then you have your uh, point section right here, your little icon with your guy. And then you have a friend section. You add your friends on this screen. News section. This app is really clean and organized and I like it. I feel like a lot of thought was put into this and it was, a lot of time was invested into this. All right, so here's our Pokemon bank. This is our home bank have all the Pokemon that pr I pretty much just showed you guys on the switch now with these on the home we could trade we could trade these with our friends all these Pokemon on this home we can tra trade with our friends on our mobile devices you can uh, do random trades there's just so much you can do with this and this is so such an awesome app I just can't stress it enough and the $16 a month is uh, $16 a year is worth it even $3 a month you know, even if you pay that, it's worth it. All right, so I have, we're gonna get into trades right now. All right, these are the trade rankings, rankings, and it tells you different stats for each trade. Right now, number one is Linton. Frequently traded Pokemon, Ditto and Pikachu. Rapidly increasing. I see Mewtwo down there. Popular Pokemon. All right, so we have our Wonder Box. Wonder Box is really cool. I just put like a random Pokemon in here, and then I woke up in the morning, and I had a Rotom, which I didn't have. Uh, so you just put like random Pokemon. Uh, I would put like something good. Don't put like crappy Pokemon. I put this one. He's all right. Because um, <laughs> the person just always think about the people receiving the Pokemon. You know, you get something crappy. I mean, you could just always put it back into the Wonder Box and then just keep trading that way. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different slots for the Wonder Box. You can put ten different Pokemon in here and just do random, random trades, which is really cool. I like that feature a lot. Um, let's go into the GTS. And right here we deposit Pokemon. So what I did yesterday, how to get that Mewtwo that I showed you guys. Um, pretty much all I did was I deposited a Linton. And I put that, what Pokemon that I wanted was a Mewtwo. And that person was also searching a Linton. So they must have put that in their request. Match this up. 
and then you can put like a little like a little message right here you can even get really into it you can do gender level and, and like games certain games that you want to get it from I was just happy to get a Mewtwo, so I just put any, 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 and I just happened to get a Mewtwo. Somebody gave me a level 76 Mewtwo, transferred him into my sword game, and uh, they got a Linton level 1, which I just, which is cool because I just hatched him from an egg. I've been doing a lot of hatching, a lot of breeding. That's going to be a whole nother video we're going to get into that, breeding Pokemon and just, just trading and trying to fill up your Pokedex. I'm a completionist. I'm trying to, like fill this pokedex i want to fill the international pokedex and i'm trying i think i'm like 85 percent complete on my uh sword and shield pokedex i'm getting close so all right so that's that's just the the gts deposit pokemon it's pretty simple we'd click on something i'll deposit something real quick just to show you just to go through it real quick uh we'll we'll deposit the sneasel you would hit deposit and you can always take them back pokemon wanted um let's see i really want we'll say unknown i don't have an unknown maybe he's not even in it he's not i'm not even spelling it right I do need another ditto. I do want a ditto. All right, let's try a ditto. I doubt that I'm gonna get a ditto for a Sneasel, but I'm just... <laughs> and then you would just hit continue with these conditions. I don't even think I could do that. And you can put like a little message. And then I don't even think that's a compatible trade. So you gotta be, you have to do like some kind of compatible trade. You can't just do whatever and whatever. And another thing I wanted to go through real quick is it's called a room trade. And you join a random trade room. You can actually create your own trade room. And once you join this random trade room, you pick up Pokemon after this countdown. You guys are all going to pick Pokemon, and it's going to be just a mass random trade. And this countdown, sometimes it starts at like 100, and more people can keep joining. And then after this countdown, we're going to select our Pokemon for this random trade. my mime jr i got him in a trade all right we're getting down uh the last couple of seconds it looks like everybody's sticking with their picks i just hope i don't get that that doug trio that's the only one i don't want to get Sending them out. This is, I love this. I really do. The animations look great too. All right, here we go. Mass random trade. Let's see what we get. Give me something good. Hopefully, something I don't have. Yeah! That's awesome. And just like that, guys. That's how a uh, random trade room works. So I just wanted to do a quick video, a quick section of the video dedicated to that because I kind of skipped over it. All right, so now after this, we're gonna get into the 3DS section of this and that in itself is, is it gets complicated. So first thing you guys are gonna wanna do if you wanna transfer your Pokemon to Pokemon Home from 3DS, you're gonna have to download uh, Pokemon Bank on your 3DS from the Nintendo Store. Pokemon Bank, it's a free app. You're gonna download that, and then we'll get into, once you have that open, 
enter all your credentials, get everything set up, and then we'll get into that section of the video next. All right, in this section of the video, I'm gonna have to record the screen on my 3DS because I don't have a capture card, but it's a pretty quick process. So what we're gonna do is first, after you download your Pokemon Bank, we're gonna open it up, and then we're gonna go to Use Pokemon Bank. Once you click on that, and I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see, Use Pokemon Bank. We're gonna we're gonna pick on Pokemon Sun. Use game. And then it's gonna open up our whole Pokemon Sun library of Pokemon. Or boxes of Pokemon. Alright, we have all our Pokemon from Pokemon Sun. And I'm just gonna pull one up and then just trade them up. Pretty much just drag him to this box up on the top. So let's let's drag him up. We'll just pick a random Pokemon for this. Save. Yes. Wait for that to go. Saved. Just connecting. It's going to bring you back to this main screen. Click back into it. And it takes a minute to load. And I've been going back and playing my old Pokemon games just to transfer them. You have a free trial period on this. I don't know. I don't even know how this works. You have to pay for this. Um, all right. So we're going to go down to move to Pokemon Home. Sorry if the camera's not steady. I'm literally just holding my camera recording it. All right, so you're about to send some of your Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Please note that you won't be able to bring your Pokemon back to Pokemon Bank. Please check the official Pokemon Home website for details. All right, we're going to click Next. You have to scroll all the way down, of course. Begin. Select Boxes. These are the Pokemon that we just put in those boxes. Select the box. Done. Move these Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Yes. All right. So now here, what's gonna you're gonna be switching over to your Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna stop this part of the video right here. We're gonna switch over to our Nintendo Switch because I can actually record that with the capture card. So we're gonna cut this out and then let's get to the Nintendo Switch. We're gonna enter the key. Once you enter the key on the 3DS, I'll show you what window comes up next. All right, now that we are back on our Nintendo Switch, we're gonna go down. We're in our Pokemon Home on Nintendo Switch. We're gonna go down to move. And we're gonna go to begin move. Warning, you'll be you'll be unable to use Pokemon Home until the move is complete. So depending on how many Pokemon you're transferring. It takes up to a few minutes. Alright, so we're gonna enter this code they give us. You have to do it pretty quick or it will expire. Alright, and then we're gonna enter this code into our 3DS. And once we do that, I'm gonna show you what screen comes up next. And after you enter that long code, you'll get this message saying, the moving key has been entered into Pokemon Bank successfully. Moving preparations will begin. You'll, un you'll be unable to use Pokemon Home until the move is complete. And depending on how many Pokemon that you're transferring, it takes like a few, it takes a few minutes. 
And then on your 3DS, it'll be saying the same thing. Com communication to the Pokemon Bank ending. And then don't be afraid because on your Pokemon Bank screen on your 3DS, the, the app will pretty much just go right back to the home screen. Um, it's basically just sending it to the cloud server. So it's updating your Pokemon from 3DS to Pokemon Home. Once you have those Pokemon in Pokemon Home, the transfer process takes maybe a few minutes. So we'll let those transfer and then we'll go back into Pokemon Home and see if we had a successful transfer from the Nintendo 3DS. We're back on our Pokemon Home on our Nintendo Switch. We're gonna see if we had a successful transfer. We can bring Pokemon over from Pokemon Bank for the Nintendo 3DS. Move preparation is complete. There are two Pokemon that can be moved. How would you like to move them to boxes in Pokemon Home? You can just move them as they are. That's what I need to be used. You can move them one by one if you want to organize them and put them in certain spots. In your boxes, whatever. Whatever's easiest for you. Alright, so we're going to take that Pokemon. The Pokemon that we put into Pokemon Home from 3ds actually you know what we'll do uh we'll check it to make sure that they're in pokemon home and these pokemon on these pokemon are in our mobile box there go. right here the two that we just transferred from our 3ds pokemon sun and I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this tutorial as far as transferring your Pokemon from the 3DS to Pokemon Home. Unfortunately, we weren't able to transfer our Pick-A-Pack and our Surskit to Sword and Shield. They weren't compatible. Um, hopefully in the future we'll get more compatible Pokemon from Sun and Moon. Uh, but I was able to transfer my Incineroar. I was able to transfer my Marshadow. I was, I was able to transfer... A bunch of other Pokemon and they have all their same moves and then the same level from Sun and Moon which is awesome um, and I was able to transfer my Mew that I got for a pre-order for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee the one that you get in the Pokeball Plus I was able to transfer that to uh, to Sword and Shield which is awesome too um, and he's a beast too so I mean, there's so many things you can do. There's so many possibilities. I can't wait to see what future updates we get with this app because the possibilities are endless. And in the future, we're supposed to be getting Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Go is supposed to be able to be compatible with Pokemon Home. So I can't wait for that. That's going to be a whole nother video that I'm going to do. Uh, imagine being able to take your Pokemon from Sword and Shield and put them into Pokemon Go or vice versa. You take your Pokemon Go, Pokemon and put them into Sword and Shield. Like, I can't wait. It's gonna be insane. Um, but yeah, there's just, and then and, and being able to battle your, with your Pokemon from Sword and Shield on the go with Pokemon Go. I mean, there's, the possibilities are endless, but hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and make sure to share it if you think it's gonna help somebody out too. It's an in-depth video. I, I believe it was over 30 minutes long. But, I mean, I try to break it down as simple as possible and try to do it as short as possible. But there's just so much to this Pokemon Home. And I didn't even cover, like, everything. There's still so many questions. If you guys have any other questions, just comment down below. Let me know what you th guys think of Pokemon Home. Are you excited for this? Have you tried it yet? Um, do you want to pay for the premium? Are you on the edge? Uh, do you not want to pay for the premium? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If this tutorial and video helped, like I said, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, enable notifications, and that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Power Level Media. Chosen One. Out. Yes. Later, guys.